A stinking creek man died in a freak accident this morning. First responders answered a call to Adam Hollow Road between I-75 and Highway 25W in the northern part of the county that a block wall had fallen on top of a man. The man, believed to be in his mid-60s, was pronounced dead at the scene. Deputies speculate that high winds may have been a factor. The call came in to 911 dispatch at 10.23 a.m. More details are coming to 1450WLAF.com. Campbell County Cougars finish with a dunk and a win. It was the basketball season opener for first-year coach Matt Housley as the Cougars win 48-39 to at Farragut over the Admirals. The Campbell County fans weren't sure what to think after Farragut raced to a 14 nothing first quarter lead. But the Cougars clawed back, took the lead in the third quarter, and never trailed again, outscoring Farragut 48-25 to over the final three quarters. Nick Litton placed the orange and blue with 16 points, while Corey Poteet, who had a three at first-half buzzer, ignited the comeback, with 13 points. A hustling Tyler Chapman added a hard-fought 10 points. The outstanding defensive effort of Chase Lindsay and Jordan Kindred held Farragut's highly tutored senior guard Blake Williams to 18 points. The Cougars take their 1-0 mark to Sevierville Thursday night. That's a new day instead of Friday to take on the Severe Smoky Bears. The Lady Cougars did not fare as well as Farragut overcame an early 2-0 score to win ugly 32-24. Hear and see all the action of the Cougars and Lady Cougars beginning Thursday night over the WLAF Sports Network by WLAF Radio and the web channel 1450WLAF.com. David Graham has the full story. Highlights from last night's season opening win coming up later in sports. The governor's coming to Campbell County. Governor Bill Haslam is coming to town. Rest assured, it's going to happen. He's the state's 49th governor and plans to make a stop next Tuesday, November 22nd in Carroll. WLAF-TV cameras will be there to bring you the story from Caraville City Hall next week. We told you yesterday about the county commissioners approving the funding for tasers. Sheriff Robbie Goins tells WLAF Channel 12 News that he is pleased to announce the Ways and Means Committee of the county commission approved the additional money required for their purchase. It is projected to cost $29,000 to equip the Patrol and Criminal Investigation Divisions with a taser. The money will come from the county and the Sheriff's Office Drug Fund. Sheriff Goins has purchased a couple of the tasers already. One is in use at the jail. Sheriff Goins says he's proud of this accomplishment for his department, deputies, and for the protection of the county citizens. The Sheriff also announced and confirmed this week that the Campbell County Sheriff's Office will host ethics and integrity training on Monday, November 21st at the Campbell Career Center. Lieutenant Robert Bigham of the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security will be the lead and sole director. Goins says this training is necessary for all employees, especially public safety employees who deal with the public daily. Goins goes on to say this training is also essential because we are constantly and rightfully held to a high standard. Sheriff Goins tells WLAF that he wants this training to provide guidance to our employees to make good people and their decisions better. Strong winds since the weekend knock out power. Officials with La Follette Utilities tell 1450WLAF.com that strong winds have kept crews busy since the wind starting to blow on Saturday. 
Those winds have been strong from Saturday into today. WLAF meteorologist Jim Freeman says that the first noticeable change in the strong winds will not be until tomorrow afternoon. Freeman adds that there will be a burst of wind gusts Thursday and Friday evening for a short time, but light winds should be the order of the next several days once we clear tomorrow morning. The La Follette Community Band will hold a meeting on November 17th at 7 p.m. at the La Follette Community Center. The band is open to players of all skill levels. For more information, call Aaron Campbell at 423-912-7171. And two area churches are providing free food and meals. The Jellicoe Highway Church of God will give away a free food box on Thursday, November 17th, beginning at 6 p.m. and lasting until 7 p.m. This food box giveaway is on a first-come, first-served basis. The pastor is Darrell Reese. The Fincastle Methodist Church will be hosting a free meal also tomorrow, Thursday, November 17th, beginning at 6 p.m., and you are invited. And that's our news for this Wednesday. Stay tuned. We'll be back with a press release from the Sheriff's Department after this. Campbell County Sheriff's Department release from the past 24 hours brought to you by Billy's Transmissions located right across from Campbell County High School in the Joy Hunter Automotive Center. Billy has over 30 years of experience in the transmission work, and he'll be glad to look at your situation, discuss it with you, and give you a free estimate on the work that needs to be done. Stop by and see him or give him a call at 423-201-2499. Billy's Transmissions, located right across from Campbell County High School in the Joy Hunter Automotive Center. There are nine names on our press release for today. Merrim Doreen Atkins, 49, of Hatmaker Lane, La Follette, on a KPS bench warrant. 22-year-old Hannah Deshay Beatty of Park Road, Caraval, on a KPS bench warrant and theft of property between $500 and $999. Brandon Harold Chapman, 28, of Lindsay Mill Circle in Lake City on a hold for another agency. 24-year-old Christopher W. DePaul of Pioneer for violation of probation. Joseph A. Gosnell, 23, of Hearst Street, Jellicoe for violation of probation. 28-year-old Sean Jean Rasnick of Park Place Road in Caraval for possession of drug paraphernalia and disorderly conduct. Travis Michael Robertson of North 27th Street, La Follette, on a KPS bench warrant. Sandra Lynn Smith Moon of Crest Lane and Powell on a KPS bench warrant and failure to appear. And last today, Frank Benjamin of Cherokee Trail in Jacksboro for driving while revoked and violation of the Tennessee financial law. And that's the latest news here on WLAF and Channel 12. Be sure to stay tuned. We've got lots more coming your way.
can drop off your shoe boxes at the First Baptist Church in La Follette by the Family Life Center entrance on November 14th through the 18th from 3.30 to 6.30, November 19th from 1 to 4, November 20th from 12.30 to 3, and the 21st from 9 to 10.30. Good Wednesday evening to you here in WLAF land. It's Big Dan Sansone in for your East Side Pizza, WLAF. Birthdays and anniversaries! I hope you're having a great day here on this Wednesday, the 16th day of November 2011. Let's see who is celebrating a birthday today. Kathy Layfield celebrating her 56th birthday today. Bill Wilford celebrating his 66th birthday today. And a good friend of mine, Miles, uh, not Rutherford, Miles Richardson celebrating his 27th birthday today. So happy birthday to Miles and happy birthday to everybody else. Everybody else on everybody on the list is qualified for the dinner for two, two buffet dinners, which we'll give away on Friday. Anniversary-wise, uh, well, we've got uh, a belated anniversary. No, I'm sorry. Today is their anniversary. I, I, it's uh, Wesley and Islona Johnson celebrating their 63rd wedding anniversary today. If I didn't say that not ran, that name right, I'd like to apologize. But that's what it sounds like. But uh, I would like to give uh, the Johnsons a very special happy anniversary on their 63rd. And um, uh, they are now qualified for again for those uh, drawings, which we'll give away on uh, Friday, which will be dinner for two at Eastside Pizza and Daily. But other than that, if today's been your birthday anniversary, we're here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli are hoping you have a spectacular day. Uh, the rain will be gone tomorrow, so I'll see you back then. And uh, we'll have a sunny day edition of the birthdays and anniversaries. You guys have a great and safe evening, and I'll see you tomorrow.